Praise the matchless, miraculous, exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son. He is our King. He's our Alpha. He's our Omega. He's our beginning. He's our ending. And we thank God for him for being patient with us and giving us a sense of commitment and continuance. Be encouraged in him and transfer all of your cares to him for he cares for you. Today we're in uh, Psalm 5. Psalm 5 is the refuge of the righteous. First of all, by definition, refuge is a hiding place. And the psalmist had the inclination to know where to hide. You got to know where to hide. When things are breaking out in your life, when your emotions are topsy-turvy, when you want to throw the towel in, when it's getting tough and and you're tired, you got to know where to hide. And uh, he talks about the refuge of the righteous. And, and it's in Psalm 5 that the psalmist pours out his heart to God. Amen. As us hiding in God. Now, that concept of hiding in God is that we, we hide in God when we have nowhere else to go. We hide in God when we are fearful and when we are afraid, when, when we don't know uh, uh, what direction, what guidance, when we are confused, when we are confounded, when we are depressed, we need to hide in God. God, hide me in you. So in this psalm, the psalmist deals with the fact that he's breaking out, and there are four Ps that he deals with. First, my praise. Let me stop pausing part. When we learn to praise God in all things, and that's not always easy. I didn't say praise God for all things. In everything, 1 Thessalonians 5, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, not for everything, in everything. Lord, thank you for this experience. Thank you for this exposure. Thank you, Lord God, for this uh, uh, um, weakness. Thank you for this fall. Thank you. Uh, and, and, and when we learn to thank God in everything, so he starts a praise session first. Praise God. When praises go up, blessings come down. Praise God. Lord, I'm going to praise you for who you are. My life is in your hands. My children in your hands. My marriage is in your hands. My loneliness is in your hands. My finances are in your hands. I'm looking to you to heal me. I'm looking to you to help me. I'm looking to you, Lord God, to hold me. My refuge, he's my hiding place. So he starts a praise of Almighty God. Learn every day to be thankful to the Lord. Oh, give thanks, the psalmist said, Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, intrinsically good. Amen. And his mercy endureth forever. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. So he starts out with my praise. Make praise a part of your life. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of how down you feel, regardless of how uh, lonely you feel, praise. Praise the name of Jesus. Hold Jesus up above all the, the things that are bothering you. He's Lord. He's potentate. He's power. He's God. Praise him. He starts with my praise. Then he moves to my plea. My plea is, God, I want you to hear me. I want you to hear my problems, hear my poverty, hear my pain. And you need to pour your plea out to God after you pour your praise. Learn to pour out that plea. Lord, I'm pleading with you. Here's where I am. I don't always feel confident. I don't always feel uh, victorious. Uh, I, I, I tend to go up and down in my emotions. Pour out your plea. That's part of him being your refuge. He's your refuge to the righteous. He's your hiding place. You can feel free to hide in him. You can feel free to pour out your hearts before him. He talks about his praise. Then he talks about his plea. Plea for your kids. 
plea for your future. Plea, plea for your finances. Plea, plea for your faith, your focus. Plea. This is my plea, Lord. I need help. And then he, he moves from the praise to the plea to the pardon. Lord, thank you for saving me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for being patient with me, long-suffering. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank God for the pardon. God had to pardon you and me before he could let us in his presence through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for your pardon. Your pardon, your blessings are new every morning. Your mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies he brings. When you got up this morning, God said, I got a whole batch of new mercies for you. Because that's what he gives to the faithful. So he deals with my praise, my plea, my pardon. And he closes that on my power. My power is through the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my power to live. He's my power to be liberated. He's my power to make it. He's my power. Now, I, I don't have any power of my own. He is my strength. He is my very present help in the time of trouble. Though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried to the midst of the sea, though the waters roar thereof, there is a stream that shall make glad the city of God. God will bless you. And when I think about my praise, my plea, my pardons, and my power, I'm hiding in God. That is, Jesus Christ is my hiding place. He's my refuge. Some mornings you get up, you just all you can pray is, Lord, hide me. Help me, strengthen me, overwhelm me with your presence, your power, and your peace. Great is thy faithfulness. Learn to value Jesus Christ as your refuge, your refuge, your hiding place. My plea. My praise, my plea, my pardon, my power. All of it comes through Jesus Christ. And when you do all that, guess what's next? My peace. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. God bless you. Have a great day. Jesus